Are, are you active or not active? Zero. I think we spoke maybe two years ago, maybe very briefly. And I've been following you for a long time. And recently I posted on the Facebook page, like, I just can't take it anymore. Like, I'm just tired and I have no energy and I need to find time. And I've been jumping around. I don't want to go into my whole story, but like from app to app, different different coaches or people, because I can't do it on my own. I'm I'm just like, just I just can't. Like, I know what to do. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what to do. Hundred yeah. percent what to do, and I just can't find. So your last post said something about accountability, and I'm like, you know yeah. what? Maybe I need that. I don't know. I just, just. Well, um, need something. Let me try and at least help you make sense a little bit of why you're lost. And now that Helen and Jacqueline came out of nowhere, this will help. Let me close my door because I can hear my kids screaming. Hi. <laughs> okay. When's your birthday? Me? You're asking me? Yeah. Oh, uh, what year? I think, no, what year? No, what, 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 what sign are you? Oh, Capricorn. You're a Capricorn. Capricorn. December 29th, 1971. Did we just, rec we just recently talked about this. Wait, did we check? Oh, I swear. I was talking to somebody yesterday who was the same. Anyway, so you're sometimes a frustrating stress ball because mm. you're on the cusp of a Sagittarius. And then your Capricorn is more grounded and more like you know what to do and you can follow a plan and you really like a clean kitchen or whatever, something clean. Okay. But then and if something gets moved <laughs> you freak the fuck out because now the kitchen's not clean okay and like i'm an air sign so like i don't even see this you know so right, right before i got on zoom my husband's like you know i work 10 hours today the least you can do is clean the kitchen oh god and i'm like <laughs> the kitchen was clean there were dishes in the sink okay motherfucker I, there were no dishes in the sink on when I left to go take the kids jumping and the kids went behind my back and left dishes in the sink and now it's my fault <laughs> but he's also a earth sign just like you I know nothing about the signs just and so you know you know you don't need to zero eventually it will make sense because you, I know I'm Capricorn <laughs> right you need to know who, you need to first know who you are right because the struggle you're having with jumping from one person to another. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I, I it's also, you know, financial also, financial E. I'm not committing, you know, I refuse to commit this crazy amount of numbers that they want. I can't, I'm not doing it. I don't need, to, I shouldn't need to have to pay that much money to get in shape. Give me well, a fucking it's break. Free. It's, it's, you know, the street is free. Yeah, right. You That's can go I'm... outside. Right. I know. But you're frustrated that someone wants to charge you a thousand dollars because in your mind you shouldn't have to pay anyone any money exactly so why should i help you well so let's let's role play go ahead why should i help you if you feel the i shouldn't have to pay someone it's we're talking, we're talking about paying a lot of money a little money i'll pay a lot no, of money no. well who are you to any say money well hold on hold on because this is you too. Go ahead. You do you work? Do you work? Oh yeah. Okay. You have a salary. I do. Okay. Um, I don't know how much you make. Let's. We're just gonna do a. Uh, this is fake role play. Okay. Please, You're yes. making thirty thousand a year. Got it. Are you going to work for thirty thousand a year? Yes. You will. I do. Yes. Of course. Okay. How about twenty thousand a year? I know where this is going. I'm okay. Just get to the <laughs> I'm going to value do. every, every yes, human has. So I'm but, not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I agree with you. Some people charge crazy amount of money. That's but at true. the same time, if that's what someone wants to charge, then it's just not for me. God bless them. And, the, and, and there's a customer for that person. Yeah. Just like there's somebody for the Louis Vuitton bag or the Gucci bag. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. Like, you pay what you feel you can or want to. 
Yes. Charge whatever the fuck you want. Right. And there'll be a customer for you, guaranteed. If I yeah. leave today, somebody's going to fill my spot. Right. I mean, yes, so, it could. <laughs> this right? is a, but this is but this is about you and not about someone else, right? So it's 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 if you think you shouldn't have to pay that kind of money. No, you, no, you misunderstood me. I meant for my own. I, yeah, I should have the discipline enough. Yes, that I on my own. See, I don't use the word should. I'm a I'm a licensed therapist, so I I know the word should is like a very bad word to say. So I could do this on my own, but something is stopping me. So I need yes. support. That's what I'm trying to let you say and hear yourself say it. I know. Because oh, people who come to see you, they really don't need you either. But they do because they need the accountability. Correct. They need a sounding board. It's a good word. It's a good word. <laughs> sounding board. So they could share their week or their month or however often you see them. So then you can suggest how to make some changes for, for them. And that's exactly what coaching is. But at the end of the day, I don't know if you're married or have a bestie, that person can be your accountability too. And other things that could be your accountability is printing out a calendar and checking off uh, a day that you did it. My most recent ebook, I created the meal plan. You see these boxes? So the idea was to check instead of tracking it in the app, all they have to do is it says egg whites, check. You want to know how many people are doing it? I'll tell you why I'm here. Zero. Right. Of course not. Because after following you, your approach is very authentic. It's very real. It's no fucking bullshit. You say it like it is, just like me. Um, I think you're my height, which helps too. The bathing suit, by the way, caught my attention. How tall are you? Four eleven and a half. So you're five one, so you're taller than me. Well, on the weekends, I'm five five. Okay, fine. Weekends, I'm five feet. <laughs> so, oh, f uh, weekends, I'm five three. <laughs> I'm five three on the weekends, and so I, I mean, feel like sometimes also, you know, know after, also, after twelve, I might be taller. True. So I feel I just felt like I just don't need anybody like who's gonna bullshit me around and and play game, you know, and just be a number, another number. I just felt like something about. Your I'm approach sorry. is authentic. Did you do your homework? You're asking me? No, my son just walked in. You did your homework? <laughs> I'm like, I don't fucking have any homework. Okay. I'll text his mommy. Could you just please go? That's a lot of calories. Your face is a lot of calories. No, that is a lot of calories. Sure it's a lot of calories. Okay, okay. Okay, yes. So um, we have a lot. Oh my God, the door. So we have a lot in common. Oh, and which bathing suit? So I can do the black that? one. You said for, the, for petite girls, the black one, the one piece. Oh, the one piece. It's not a oh my God, close the door. Yes, it is. It's 25 calories and seven grams of sugar. That's a lot. Muscle. We're going to talk about this. This little gumball is like an apple. Okay. Um, yeah, that bathing suit. Um, I was okay, not, so up here. Yeah. It, listen, when I first opened the packaging, I was like, oh, this is shit. And then I put it on. Right. And I was like, well, hello. <laughs> no, I I, I I, I, can never find a bathing suit because they're either too long and I'm bigger up here. Yeah. So it, it's just never possible to get a one piece yeah. ever or yeah. to get it altered. And that's ridiculous. And so I saw that one. So I'm going to have to buy it. Yeah. That bathing suit. Mm hmm. I'm just pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's forty nine dollars on if you are if you're on TikTok. Yeah, I saw. Or I'm I waiting know. for them to give me a code to buy it on their website. Okay. Okay. So, um, can we agree that you? I'm assuming you just want to have a consistent 
fitness routine because you're not overweight. Correct. Okay. So what do you think is, by the way, these girls right here, um, Jacqueline's lost weight before and COVID cousin, blah, blah, blah. And then Helen's lost 50 pounds. And then Jamie lost 80 pounds. So these are not new girls. That's why they're quiet. That's fine. I respect that. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Thank you. But they'll but they'll they'll when when they're done cleaning or whatever they're doing, they can they can tell you. So Jacqueline on the left, I don't know if you have I was tucking in the children and making sure they had all their stuff done because I'm not gonna tuck them in. Oh, makes sense. Wait, well, I'm I'm just excited because you girls never met Jacqueline, and Jacqueline was Jacqueline was my Helen when I lived in a hotel. So Jacqueline was shredded and then her cousin got COVID and I think that's what, what kind of went down, right? And yeah. Then, and then her job changed phones and we couldn't talk. Life. <laughs> we blame it on life. <laughs> well, your life happened, yeah. <laughs> life happened. Okay. So Erica, what do you think is stopping you from at least being consistent with your workouts? Like what, when would you say you stop and start hopping around? When do you, when did I, wait, I didn't, the second yeah, part. Yeah, what I makes think. you hop around? Like what, what makes you not oh, oh, um, be consistent well, in one place? Well, the first question I'll answer I'll answer first is energy and motivation, right? In my in my head, I want to work out when I'm done working in the evening, too fucking tired. Then I say I'm gonna get up early in the morning and the alarm goes off and I want to smash it against the fucking wall. So that's not happening. So energy. And um the second question, maybe connection with the coach or some kind of like uh, um like relatability. I haven't found anybody who's relatable. It's helpful to me for somebody who really like understands, oh, I get it. Like I'm your age. I'm, you know, I'm struggling with the same symptoms. Um, I'm also tired. So that, that part. So that's kind of what drew me to you as well. It was like, I feel like there's relatability there. I don't remember. I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm laughing. Um, Jamie has known me the longest in the last nearly two years and Helen um because Jacqueline and I haven't talked in a while J Jamie is <laughs> could you recall a time when I was tired no I didn't mean that I didn't mean you were tired I meant you can or no energy oh I know it was three weeks ago when I was live and I said I don't want to work out and we ended up having to get on an Instagram call and tell you to shut the F oh. up. Let's go. Oh yeah. I got to find that video. Okay. So I, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand you. I'm trying to have empathy, which is really new for me. Uh -huh. Really new for me. So I'm trying to understand you because I'm from New York and it's like, get the fuck Same. up. Right. Are you from, are you in New York? I'm Brooklyn, but I'm in Jersey now. Okay, so I'm from I'm from Bensonhurst. I know. I already I can just okay, look at you. I went to John Dewey High School. All right. Okay. So when I wake up, it's like if the alarm goes off and I don't want to get up, this is what you have to try. Do you know Mel Robbins? Of course. I know. She slides off the bed. I know. Yes. Fuck that bitch. No, no, fuck that bitch. Okay. She goes, five, four, three, four, two, one. one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, go fuck yourself. Okay, right. but this is what works. Oh, shit. And the time. Like, you startle yourself. Oh. So the alarm goes off at six, and you need to work out at a certain time in order to be on time for work. It's like, oh, shit, at six o'clock. <laughs> the oh, shit scares me because I like the, I gotta go. Like... If I have to take the kids to school, oh shit, the bus is coming. I'm always, oh shit, all the time. Oh shit, I gotta go to bed. Oh shit, I'm late for a meeting. Oh shit, my husband's calling. Even, yeah, like I'm on the phone with Jamie and I'm like, ah oh, shit, Jared's calling. 
<laughs> and I set oh, my alarm everything. clock. And see, and I set my my actual personal alarm clock upstairs that's next to me. I put the wrong time. So if it's 630, my clock says seven. So mm -hmm. that when the alarm goes off, I'm freaking out because, oh my God, we're late. And I literally shoved my husband out of bed and he's like, I still got 30 minutes. Yeah. That works because you also probably don't like being late. Right? Erica? Mm -hmm. I'm do never you, late. Do you do you get anxiety if you're running late? No, because I'm never late. Because if I'm on time, it means I'm if I'm on time, I'm late. <laughs> I can't be late. If I want to be late, I can't be. I try to be late sometimes. I just can't be. I'm always early. I know, it's very I know. fucking annoying. But it's I just know. it's true. Are, are you married? I'm divorced. Okay. <laughs> Did he ever make you late? Oh, oh, same. Oh my god, do you see the, the orb? Oh that's so cool. Um was has anyone ever made you late before? Okay. <laughs> okay. No. What time do you have to be at work? Let's let's try the morning schedule. What's the so that's the it, that's the thing. I'm I'm too fucking early at work. So I have to be there technically. I can walk in at 820 if I wanted to. Uh -huh. But I get there at seven. But no later five, than eight. Out of my fucking mind. Okay. Are you at a school? Are you a school counselor? School during the day and therapist at night. Yeah. Okay. Private practice at night and therapist and school counselor during the day. Okay. So you, okay. I see you're not. So you're not eating enough, which is I why eat seven you're, times a day. But but it's probably not enough. Yeah, because if you're if you're tired, that's food, like tired. not enough carbohydrates. Tired. Well, that's also a lot of energy too. Right. Right. I was saying you also. You also use a lot of energies. Mental energy. Mental, men, yeah, mental energy. So I think the morning, especially because you're earth sign, if you work out in the morning, that would help you mentally. Agreed. So if you, what time do you, what time, if you, if you were to, blah, 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 if you were to wake up to work out, what time would that be? To feel comfortable enough to get to work when I want, probably five forty-five. That is so fucking late. I wake up before thirty. <laughs> that's what time, but but that's what time we used to get up during summer because I said I'm not getting up any fucking earlier than that, and the kids get up at eight. So you five five thirty, five thirty. Yeah, I mean five thirty seems to be like I could probably do six if I really okay. want. depends okay. on if my head straight or not. You know how that works. So yeah. how long it takes me in the morning to get ready. So reasonably 5.30 to like feel like I'm not rushing. Okay. Oh, she's, she's my twin. Let's write that down. 5.30 just so we have like something. Okay. 5.30. And then if you are working out, where are you? My bedroom. Okay. So you're working at home. Yes. I'm not leaving. And since definitely. you're not currently in my app, what are you doing? How, what does this work? Where is this workout coming from? Girl, I'm not fucking working out. That's why I'm here today. But, but when you were, when, what, what the days you are, what? Are um, so I have my, so, um, a 30 minute hit workout with some of the kettlebell, some, some dumbbells, um, some bands. Okay. I, I, ne I never you, you felt make, like you, you make it up. It's not like on video. No, I'll do like a, some kind of, some. I'll follow some on Instagram or, no, I don't make it up. I'll print out something from the internet, some kind of like 40 minute or 30 minute. I'm laughing. And if this, I have a this, this, and then I'll look at it and I'm like, this is fucking so boring. I can't take it anymore. Also, yeah. that's a problem too. If it's boring, I'm out. Okay. Jamie, Jamie's going to coach you the rest of the time. Um, One more question. One more question, please. Bring it on. Hold on, one more question. I need a microphone. <laughs> one more question. Listen. How many calendars do you have in your house? Not one. What? Not one calendar? Just, just my therapy calendar. My nope. No calendars. I set one alarm in the morning. No. So calendar. your to do is only in one calendar. It's in my head. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. in your head. Oh, girl, you need like three calendars. Well, it's right here. Forgets my, what's in her head. <laughs> I have a calendar for my clients, so I know when when to show up. That that that's that's the calendar. Okay. Well, is it safe to say that if it's in your calendar, you do it? 
Oh, she's smiling. That means no. <laughs> I don't give a shit if it's on my... I No. <laughs> but what about your clients? That's it. The client is you meant you meant oh you meant the clients? Yes, of course I'm gonna do it. But if it says like work out at 5 30 on Tuesday morning, that does not mean I'm gonna work out 5 30 on Tuesday morning. Okay. You have to try and make this like a business. That's why I'm fucking here. I well, need I'm, I'm giving you <laughs> okay. Rule number one, stop saying I need. Number one, I need is a negative uh thought. <laughs> When we say I need, it is automatically we don't do. As soon as you change that to I want, done. It's going to happen. So it's I, when people fucking comment need on my Facebook or whatever social media, I immediately go, here's your fat burning drink. She's fucking cracking up. She's peeing in her pants over here. What? She's cracking up. She's peeing in her pants. She's crying <laughs> Because you and her are like identical. Because she's oh, okay. she's an earth sign too. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's a. So on this side we have the earth. Okay. So no, I need make it. I want. Um, okay. Jacqueline, your birthday is in or December, November. I forgot. October. Libra. That's right. What? I'm gonna text your friend. I'm gonna text your friend. Okay. Oh, here she texts. Hi, Gavin is wondering if Flint can come over after Taekwondo to play to play an Oculus for an hour. Um, on this side it, we have air. On this side we have earth, and then Helen is fire. <laughs> we have all the elements. So let me let me. Let me explain to you why that matters. <laughs> I had this book for a very long time. And, and you I never sent the picture that you took either. Oh, I forgot to send you the picture. Okay. So let's do earth. I'll do earth first. People who are earth signs have an have an element of foundation, stability, and physical support. So you give physical support if when you were married, you were the stability in the household, right? So, uh, <laughs> so it's the attitude of gratitude that allows the resources you already um, have to support you as you continue to grow. You might notice some of your clients are not like you. They might be more like me, who okay. challenge you, <laughs> who are scatterbrains. And you might sound like you're repeating because they're stuck in a loop and they don't know how to get out. Because you're logic and the rest of us are not. <laughs> okay. Does that, so? does that kind of yeah. um, help to understand, yes. right? So if I'm struggling figuring out how to get you into a routine because you love a routine, you're looking for my logic because you're, look, you're looking for something logical that you can do. Cool. And I sometimes struggle because I'm air and I don't follow logic. So I'll very, very quickly, I'll tell you, um, I don't know the other Capricorn in here. I don't know how you feel about this one. I'm not routine oriented at all. And actually I hate routine because it bores me. Yeah. That's a problem. Yes. I'm are you laughing because you're the same way. No, she's a oh. Virgo. So Virgos mm -hmm. oh. prefer routine. Oh, but no, you I are an routine. earth sign. Um, so you might, I don't, you might not. But my yeah. mom, but my mom is a Capricorn. Okay. Does she get bored too? I can't do routines. I go to work a different way every other day because I get bored. Like okay. I, I, I don't. Like when I have, I mean, I have two, young, two children. They're grown now, but when they were little, I certainly was very structured and very routine oriented. But for myself, I, I, I struggle with like the same thing every day, the same time, which is why I kind of struggle with this. So which is why you have twenty different projects that you want to do, and not a single one of them is accomplished. I'm just not disciplined. I'm just not. I'm not a compliant patient. I'm not like very rigid. I'm very flexible. 
I'm very like, you know, go with the flow kind of person. I'm not that this is my challenge is being disciplined. Okay. Well, what if I asked you, what are you willing to commit to? Do you so mean like time like, or yeah, because honestly, fitness doesn't matter. If you work out five minutes, awesome. If you work out three minutes, that's good. If you if you wake up at 5 a.m. Monday and 5, 10 on Tuesday, great. There's really no wrong way of, of, of exercise. And there's no wrong way. Okay, there's wrong way of nutrition. But if... <laughs> If you had one healthy meal per day, that's still more than zero, right? So it, it, it really boils down to what are you willing to try? Yeah, try. Whatever it takes. I just can't. Are you? Not, you? Because you already said whatever it takes is not working. Right. So what am I willing? I, 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 Are you I'm, willing to do five jumping jacks when you first wake up in the morning? Easy. Yes. Okay. Do five jumping Once jacks I'm for the next three days. Here's the thing. It's not the workout. It's the getting out of bed. It's getting out of the bed. I've gone to bed in my workout clothes, you know, yeah. to make it as easy as possible. The computer is set up at my bed. I, I, I ride bikes a, a lot. So my bike is set up, but that's more, that's cardio, obviously. So that's a lot easier for me to do. Um, so I've tried to like, again, wear my workout clothes, have the computer set up, my water set up. I've tried it all. Mm. So I've tried, um, you know, so I, I'm fucking okay. tired, man. I'm fucking tired. Okay. I'm going to show you a video. Um, cause I want, I want Helen to see it and, uh, let's see if this will help. The conscious mind is a creative mind. The subconscious mind is a programmed mind, mm -hmm. a habit mind. I'd like to discuss in nature about how our life has been programmed and how these programs control our life, our vitality, and our behavior in the world. But recognize this. If you buy a new computer and you turn it on, the built-in operating system prepares it to work. But if there are no programs in that computer, then the computer can't really do anything. Well, let's now relate this to a child. When the brain develops, it's got an operating system, but there are no programs in it. So nature created the first seven years of our lives to download behaviors by observing our parents, our siblings, and our community. And in this way, a child can learn all the behavioral characteristics necessary to be a functional member of a family and a functional member of a community. Well, however, since we are downloading the programs by observing other people, what happens if we download programs from our parents or our family and siblings uh, that are not very uh, positive programs, that are actually very negative programs that have an adverse effect on our health? Well, it turns out, science has revealed that during the first seven years of our life, our brain is designed to download programs just by observing other people. It's a state of hypnosis, uh, which is a characteristic of brain frequency called theta, which is just below consciousness. The first seven years of a child's life is installing the programs that when consciousness kicks in at around age seven, consciousness has use of programs to create the behavior uh, in their relationships, in their family, community, etc. We now know about 70% of those programs that we download from others are negative and disempowering and even self-sabotaging. And as we go through our life, you say, well, where are these programs? I say, well, they're in the subconscious mind. And then you say, well, what's the other mind? I say, ah, oh, the conscious mind, that's the one that kicks in at age seven. That mind is connected to your personal identity, your spirituality. And the difference between the two is profound. The conscious mind is a creative mind. The subconscious mind is a programmed mind, a habit mind. So I say, why is it relevant? I say, well, if you're running from the conscious mind, then you're creating your life from wishes and desires and aspirations. However, if your life is under the control of the subconscious mind, it's just going to play back the programs that you downloaded from other people. Well, since other people didn't plan your wishes and your desires, the download you get may not even allow you to get into the life that you really wish for. 
So here comes the important issue. Are we running our lives with a conscious mind, or are we running our lives with the subconscious programs? Well, it turns out science has revealed that only 5% of the day are we operating our nervous system using the conscious mind's creative wishes and desires. 95% of the day, our life is coming straight out of the programs in our subconscious. The reason why this is happening is that when conscious mind is controlling our biology, it's sort of like a driver holding the wheel, taking us into the direction we want to go, our wishes and desires. However, when we are thinking, Conscious mind has to let go of the wheel and go inside the brain. Why? Thought is an inside job. It's not outside. So what happens when consciousness is thinking? It's not driving the vehicle. I said, well, then what happens to the vehicle, our body, when consciousness is thinking? I go, subconscious is autopilot. So the moment we start thinking, biology is taken over by the programs that we acquired in the subconscious. Now here comes the problem. 95% of the day we're operating from these programs and the vast majority of them are disempowering and self-sabotaging downloads. So we're not leading a life that takes us towards wishes and desires. We're leading a life that manifests the issues that we downloaded from other people mostly negative and therefore we struggle through life and i said well why is there a struggle i said because you're not operating from wishes and desires and longer you're operating from the habits you got from other people so this becomes a very profound issue because it says that the life that we're leading has already been controlled by the downloaded programs. This is not a new idea. For 400 years, the Jesuits have told their followers, give me a child until age seven and I will show you the math. What they were saying was I actually telling people, if you give me an opportunity to download programs in the first seven years, that will determine the child's rest of its life. Why? Because 95% of a person's life is coming from those programs. So the issue now is facing is what should we do with these programs? And the first issue is what are the programs? Why? Because they were being downloaded in the last trimester of pregnancy and all the way through the first seven years of life. So basically you weren't there when you were in the womb. And if I asked you what programs you get when you were zero, one or two years of age, you go, man, idea because consciousness wasn't even engaged at that point so the first thing you need to know is what controls your life 95 percent from the programs yeah but what are the programs and here comes a simple insight 95 percent of your life is coming from the program so your life is a printout of the programs downloaded in your subconscious mind and so significance is easy look at your life the things you love and desire and wish for that come into your life they come in because the subconscious has programs to acknowledge that. But here's the more important part. Where you struggle in your life, where you want to have a certain outcome, but you work hard for it, you put a lot of effort into it, you're sweating over it to make something happen. Why are you struggling so hard to create those wishes and desires? And the answer is very simple. The programs that you were downloaded with do not support those ends. So as a result, your behavior is sabotaging you. And then this is the link and the catch for all of it is when you are playing subconscious programs, why are you playing them? Because conscious mind is inside thinking. And as a result, conscious mind is not observing the behavior that's coming out from the program. And since most of those programs are self-sabotaging and disempowering, you yourself don't even see that you're engaged in the process because subconscious is playing that and conscious mind's not observing it. And why this then becomes important is it's necessary for you to understand these programs because we can change those programs. And when we change the programs in the subconscious, we rewrite the character of our lives. While the conscious mind is the creative mind, it can learn in any number of ways. Reading a self-help book, watching this particular video, going to a lecture, you can easily download new knowledge into the conscious mind. Uh, the significance is the conscious mind is creative and it can be very smart. But the issue is downloading new knowledge into the conscious mind does not change the program in the subconscious. It's a different mind and learns in a completely different way. The 
subconscious mind is the habit mind. And by definition, we don't want to change habits uh, very easily, especially, for example, consider when did you learn how to walk before you were two? I don't care what age you were at, almost all of us never have to relearn how to walk. And I say, well, thank you, subconscious mind, because you downloaded the habit of walking and it tries to resist any change to that. But when you get a negative belief, it also tries to resist change. So the issue is this, how can I put programs into the subconscious mind, new ones to replace the ones that are sabotaging me? And the answer is this, there are only three ways that you can rewrite subconscious mind. The first way is through hypnosis. This is the process that you downloaded programs in the first seven years. Uh, so every night when you go to bed, just when your conscious mind falls asleep, your subconscious mind is in operation. So if you put earphones on as you go to bed and hear a program, it's not going into the conscious mind, but it's going straight into the subconscious mind and can reprogram it. How do you get new programs after age seven? Repetition, practice, anything you needed to learn, you had to repeat it and repeat it to create a habit. So if you want to change a habit that's not supporting you, you have to engage a habit that does support you. If you're not a happy person, you can say every day, no matter how unhappy you are, you say to yourself repetitively, I am happy. I am happy. Over the day, you keep saying that. Guess what? Repetition, habituation will change the program. And one day you'll wake up and guess what? Your subconscious mind's already got a I am happy program. And lastly, the most effective way to change subconscious programming is through energy psychology. And these are mechanisms that enhance super learning. And therefore, you can download new behaviors in matters of minutes to understand uh, super learning energy psychology and how it works on my website brucelipton.com under resources i have over 25 different energy psychology modalities that you can review and identify one that feels the best to you because using these new processes you can rewrite your beliefs and radically change the character of your life in matters of minutes it doesn't matter what i say why i'm doing zoom <laughs> I'm realizing um, I've been a fitness coach for five years and it's not working how I expected it to work because 90% of women are still not doing it. So Helen has been like my superstar since August of 2022. 20, yeah. 22. And sometimes she gets a little depressed and I somehow feel her energy all the time. And then I like pull her out and then she's like, okay, you know, and then she comes back. But if I'm not pulling her out, she's gone. Unless I do some other posts that she is going to text me when he's done with his Taekwondo. Close the door, right? So I'm realizing it's not the fitness that people want, just like your clients. We want a sounding board and we need like the sound, someone to be like, come on, come on, come, you know, like me too. My, I, I just shared this, uh, I got into a fight with someone because after I watched that video, I'll tell you why I got into a fight with this person, fighting with two people. Because now I'm 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 picking fights with strangers, and not that I'm picking fights. I've watched that video and many videos after that, and now I understand who I am, and I'm fucking Karina. Let me introduce myself. My name is Karina Kovler, born in Russia in 1978 to Jewish parents, actually my dad is not Jewish. I had to find that out another way. He's not <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, my mom lost her parents. I thought she was in her twenties, but this weekend I learned my mom lost her dad when she was 17 and she lost her mom when she was 21 and her middle brother had to take care of my mom. My sister, whose name is Faye Hovler, now goes by Sophia. 
who also went through her own um what it's called spiritual awakening is when you realize oh who the fuck you are truly and she and I eight years apart I grew up abandoned by my parents she grew up controlled same parents same blood two sisters when the parents went to work and I felt alone she was like oh thank god they're out of the house I can finally do whatever I want like completely led to different lives. I also just learned that my cousin, who's four years older than me, was besties with her when she was five. And then one day they decided to leave Russia for a better life to come to America. And my sister was told, hey, the little cousin who you've been with for the last five years, like a brother to you, is leaving but we're having another child we think it's a boy and then so she thought she's gonna have another boy brother and then here comes me now my sister's eight years old and she's having to fucking change diapers and mother me not be friends with me do you see what i'm saying so why did i grow up my whole life why am i fat because my sister was a figure skater. And in Russia, God forbid you gain a fucking ounce. And her entire childhood, while I was in my mom's stomach, while I was zero to seven, being shoved from a car to sleeping on the balcony, to sleeping in the car, to sleeping at a skating rink, all I heard was my mom and coaches and figure skating trainers going, is she getting fat? She's fat because when my sister got kicked off the figure skating team, because it was free to be a figure skater in Russia, she because she was too fat. She was never even fat in the first place. And I was never fat. But because in Russia, with gymnastics and figure skating, you're fat. If, if your leg is not the size of a pinky, but the size of a middle finger, you're fat. And that's all I heard my entire life. So I grew up with, why am I fat? So you see, you're welcome. I, I'm dying now that I, so Jamie just watched me. People... In the last year and a half, Jamie and I have been attached to the hip. Okay, I met her on TikTok. She's a complete stranger. We've been attached to the hip. Okay. Helen and I have been semi-attached to the hip. Helen doesn't need me to be attached to the hip, but Helen's also at work and Jamie and I are home. Before Jamie was Jacqueline. Jacqueline was my moderator on TikTok and Jacqueline watched me go from zero followers to like 350,000 before her life changed. She watched me live in a hotel, right? So there's been different different times of my life, right? But it wasn't until Jamie is that I started to go live more often to just talk and people would ask questions and say things like I'm struggling. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? I didn't even know what that means. So this past October, I had a gummy. And that allowed my mind to go into my subconscious mind. I'm in my conscious mind. I'm watching TV and I'm like, they say thoughts of things. So I'm, raise your hand. Can you raise your hand? What? Raise your hand. Oh. Did you hear your mind say, raise your hand? No, you just did it. Because you're conditioned from childhood to raise your hand. But when you're in the car, you're like, I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking tired. Why didn't I wake up this morning? I set the alarm to five o'clock. What the fuck didn't I get up? You hear that, right? But you also thinking how you're driving in the car, but you don't hear that sound. 
you only hear the self-sabotage. Why am I? Why? Why? What's wrong with me? Why? Why? I'm tired. Why? You know, some client comes in who you don't like. Oh, God, I didn't know she was going to be here. Oh, God, why is she? You hear all of those things, but you don't hear, I got to pee. I'm thirsty. I got to drive to work. You don't hear any of those things, but those are still thoughts. Make sense? Mm -hmm. we, we don't even think about that. They just, they're just thoughts. Mm -hmm. So if you can think, then you can also, before you go to bed, because that's when our mind is conscious, is right before we go to bed, you are finally you, how you want to be, no judgment at all. You don't feel any judgment. You're finally you and you're relaxed and you're getting ready to go to bed, whether you're by yourself or with someone, it doesn't matter because that's when you're just like ready to just chill and and there's no noise. It's just you, right? So that's when you have to have the conversation with yourself. I am waking up in the morning and I am happy. No more I need and no hope either. I hope is another fake negative words because I hope nothing happens with hope, okay? Especially living in New York, I hope there's no traffic, okay? <laughs> That's impossible, right? So it's I am, I, I will, I am happy, I am uh, waking up at 5 a.m., I am energized. As soon as we turned on Zoom, and, and I didn't know you well yet to say this, but now that you watched the video and you were like, I'm tired. I was like, oh, fuck. You don't even know when you're not tired. You're so conditioned to use those words that you believe you're tired, even when you might not be tired. But you're, you're, you, you say it, right? And you automatically believe it. Does, doesn't matter what I say. So if you and I get into a fight and I'm like, no, you're not, you're going to be like, who the fuck are you going to tell me what I am? You, right? This is the bitches I'm fighting with online because now I'm practicing to be Karina. Here, your friends here. So I'm Karina Kovler. Raven is my married name. I'm Karina Kovler, born in Russia. Jewish, who's not allowed to talk about Judaism because God forbid I get shot, <laughs> okay? I'm also not allowed to talk about being Russian because Putin is an asshole, right? So I grew up, don't you dare tell anybody you're Jewish. That's how I grew up. I grew up hiding Thanks. my Thanks. identity. Oh, yeah. Erica, are you Jewish too? So right off the bat, you and I are five years old. And we're having to pretend to be someone else. I went by Karen from Spain. Hi. In when I was in junior high, I was Karen because I met some girls in camp who didn't like to be, who didn't like to say they were Russian. We were in a Russian camp. Yeah, I'm sure you. I went to school with a lot of Russians in Brooklyn. So how, how are you going to say you're not Russian when we're in a Russian camp? <laughs> They're embarrassed. Right. They were embarrassed. So because they said it, soundboard, I heard it. Then I became Karen. I was Karen until I was going to college. And I'm like, what the, who the fuck is Karen? I'm like, where did I come up with that? Hi, Kelly. Right. I don't even know where I came up with Karen and why Spain? Why not Mexico? Why not Puerto Rico? I don't know. Because I was an immigrant who thought only people from Spain are Spanish. <laughs> I didn't know. You see what I'm saying? And how I even, so I, I, I took the gummy in October. And so Jamie watched me struggle when I didn't even know I was struggling until I learned what a struggle feels like. And then there were days where I didn't want to work out where she said, you didn't, I didn't want to work out. And 
Um, another girl had to call me and she's like, get your fucking ass in that fucking camera. We're going to fucking work out right now. And I'm like, oh, that fucking word really speaks to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jamie. Um, so Eve is in England and she's calling on Instagram. And then Jamie calls me on the phone and she goes, bitch, get your fucking ass on camera or something. And I was like, okay. Oh, you heard, you know, my mom was so mentally abusive that when you use bitch or whatever, I, I hear it and I'm like, okay, I'm coming. You know, I'm, I'm fired up. Make, does that make sense? So <laughs> this is where all of your stuff comes from of your, I need accountability. Like at the end of the day, none of us do really. I need energy. You have it, right? So if you could re why your, your words hmm. is is one way and you also go back with your clients right so you might want to go back for yourself hmm. so how i came through all of this and my own struggle is i have diaries from when i was 10 years old and i chase i chase boys I realized I chased boys because I didn't have love for my parents. I chased boys to feel like accepted, feel loved, a hug. I chased friends. I chase so much that when my husband chased me, I thought that was so fucking weird because it wasn't my comfort zone. It was something out of my norm that I brought him to therapy because I was in therapy at the time my dad died and I brought him to therapy and I'm like, something's wrong with him. And my therapist had to be like, no, this is what when someone wants to be with you looks like, because it's been the other way around. Right. And it's an, it's literally on every single page of my diary, a new boy, new chasing some fucking pages I read it to Jamie some pages it was two boys in the same day Perfect. two boys in the same day well Mike didn't want to hang out with me but then John called <laughs> who the fuck is John <laughs> like I said to go sorry you're leaving yeah I I wake up super early I need to shower and boyfriend's get there? Some huh Wait, boyfriend's there no no he's not oh. it's my daughter's Okay. Your daughter's Yeah, no, but but I'm like I just worked out and I'm like I could feel my body getting cold from the sweat, so I need to change. <laughs> I love you. Did the, the video help? Yeah. Okay. All I'll right. text you. <laughs> bye. All right, bye guys. Good night. Bye. bye. Nice meeting you. Yeah. So it's that. And so I do practice with people I talk to who I don't know, just to Allow myself to be me. Please, yeah. Right? Because if somebody thinks I'm a bitch, it doesn't really matter. It's it's what you say to yourself and it's what I say to myself. 100%. Right? So <clears throat> you will believe whatever you say. So if you wake up tomorrow morning with a fresh... <laughs> oh my God. Jamie, who do I sound like? When you wake up tomorrow morning with a fresh perspective. I'm going to tell you where that came from. Um, no, but it did make me kind of chuckle because I was thinking of like everything you're saying. And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, so basically, let's break this down because Karina really likes to talk. <laughs> and it's basically one sentence. You speak to your clients your therapist, maybe the message that you're giving to your clients is the message you need for yourself. No shit. <laughs> I just said that to Kelly. Kelly, I, we can't hear you, but that's okay. Um, of course. She, the camera not you, you, you ever hear the saying, the shoemaker's kid has holes in his shoes? What is it? Oh, no, I've name? always heard a therapist always has a therapist. Well, that's for sure. But the shoemaker's kid has holes in his shoes because he doesn't take care of the shit in his own house. 
you know, the basement builder has a fucking holes in his basement wall, right? Because he's taking care of everybody else instead of his own. Yeah. I never heard of that. But I exactly said that to Kelly, that I think the Zoom and me going live really helped me because there's no one who talks like me, authentic and real. I've never found any one online. Who... Why do you think I'm here? Like I literally four minutes before the Zoom, right. I'm sitting here, I'm like, I just feel it. Like, I'm just going to log on. This is so not like with a sweatshirt, with my glasses, my hair in a pony. Like I would never do this like typically because I would have no reason to at nine o'clock at night to do this. And I yeah. was like, you know what? Fuck it. Something is telling me to log on to the Zoom today. And I just initially had the camera off. I'm like, oh, fuck it. If they don't like how I look, they can go fuck themselves. I really don't give a shit. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. No, no judgment here. I, I don't care. Like, I, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I really don't. So, And and it's you. Yeah. Even, even that is still feeling about you. That, Always about me. That clock is from your family, right? That's not- My house? Yeah, that clock behind you. No, it's a old from Home Goods. <laughs> really? I, I like that clock. I don't know, it, it, it just, I keep looking at it. Oh. Just thinking about That's that so clock. Funny. Nobody's ever noticed, and I Zoom with clients all the time. Nobody's ever noticed that before. Hmm. Mm. Is it 9-11? Oh, almost, maybe. So my mom, um, my mom's address was 9-11 okay in russia and oh, wow. i ran in 911 oh so i often what do you mean you ran in 911 like in new that? york on 911 you too. Me too. Yeah. so i often see 911 and i think it's my mom so oh. like looking at your clock oh and i just saw it's almost 911 your time where are you i'm in colorado oh, you're so, <laughs> i'm like you're so lucky and you're like yeah, no. Let me put light on. No, she's no. Like, no. He's like, yeah, no. I was in New York. <laughs> Wish I was in Colorado. Oh. I miss- she wasn't nice to me when I met her either. <laughs> she was a royal bitch. <laughs> I don't. I think she's not. You think she's not not being nice? She doesn't to think I'm a bitch. <laughs> I know, but it was funny because the only Ew. reason I got the only reason I liked Karina was because I was scrolling, but I did. I grew up a military brat, became a military spouse, and then I became the one in the army for 10 years. And so she was on and she was, you were mad that day. I think you were mad that day. And I asked you a question and you didn't want to answer the damn question. And so I was like, okay, whatever. And I, but I kept following her because she was so brazen. That's why I followed her too. Yeah. And she's like, oh my God, why don't you just fucking just fucking call me already he was just always around <laughs> you did the same thing to me actually a long time ago and i remember like you were in your car with your kids i'm like this lady's calling me like what the fuck this is so oh. random i'm like like you had a lot of followers and you have like people that you know, like you have like a i guess a successful business and i'm like she's actually picking up the phone driving her kids to school i thought i was in the twilight zone i'm like this is not real <laughs> and then I don't know shit happened COVID I don't fucking remember and then yeah. and then I started following you again and the bathing suit is what kind of me yeah. was like that you would have took it took some shitty bathing suit I'm like short I almost didn't want to put on I knew you were from Brooklyn I even though you never said it I, I knew it I knew it I just knew obviously I knew it and yeah. I was like and the accent I'm like Eastern European something but well, I, I never thought you were Jewish though name is Jewish I, but is your husband Jewish? Yeah. I and never I, knew you were Jewish. And I was like, Rabin. I, I know, but so then I'm thinking, is it Rabin? Is it like Arabic? Is it Middle Eastern? Is he Middle Eastern? No, both Ashkenazi. So what's Rabin from? Like, how, like His grandpa was a Lashansky in Russia, and right. he was adopted into a Jewish family who's Rabin. Wow. So uh, the minister, the prime minister, the prime minister of Israel is yeah. Isaac Rabin. Was. Yeah. Was. And his daughter is named Karina. I think I knew that. Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. After everything else that you just learned from your trip, like 
You've got a really cool, you got to write that shit down. You do know that, right? Yeah. And I did not. Well, so I learned that last week. My kids were like, Echo, what is Karina Raven? (laughs) She's talking to you. Do you say Rabin or do you say Raven now? She says Raven. I say Raven. But if I'm talking to someone who I know is Jewish, I I say Rabin. But she said you went on a trip. Did you go to Israel? No. So I went to New York. My my cousin just lost his 37-year-old wife. And she, cancer. Sorry, that's and crazy. before I went to New York, she shared a video on how she experienced. So this video I just showed you about the mind. If if you allow yourself to go through more videos on YouTube, Jacqueline, you learn how to experience spiritual awakening. Okay. And spiritual awakening is sounds weird. But spiritual awakening is really allows you to understand that you were your happiest when you were a child, Mm -hmm. right? So did you grow up in Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. So you probably remember we used to hang out um, in the schoolyard, right? I I grew up in a a building in in Sheepshead Bay and I went to Yeshiva. So don't even ask. It's a whole nother conversation. (laughs) So like you, you grew up, like I remember I went to Jewish school on Sunday. I remember going to like someone's house and uncomfortable wearing a long Mm -hmm. dress and then not eating because it was um, Passover or whatever. Right. But the, but the most fondest memories is sitting on a stoop. So I went to New York this weekend, like I just said, and I went to hang out with one of my old girlfriends from um, college. And right before I left her house, I said, we we're taking pictures. And I'm like, wait, we have to take a picture in a true New York fashion. Yep. And then I sat down and I realized, what's my happy Sitting on a stair. Sitting on I that do that stair. when I talk to you on the phone and I'm outside listening to the birds. Like just the fresh air, the fresh air, the, the fresh air and like the sun and just being outside. Mm-hmm. Like when we were kids and no stress, no nothing, just sitting there and hanging out and talking. And that's what makes us happy. And now it's, I'm tired. I don't want to wake up. I gotta go. That's to why work. I. That's why I play on my bikes every weekend. I'm, I play. I play as much as I can. Oh, I play. I play outside a lot. Um. I, okay. Now I remember who you are. You just recently posted. Oh my God, Kelly. We were talked about her. <laughs> Kelly, we talked about Erica. Uh, last Zoom, you posted a picture. Your your one ten, right? Your one ten. You have yeah. a little tiny stomach. And you don't want to, okay, you didn't want to wake up. You didn't want to work out at night and you bike every single weekend. And immediately when I saw your message, I'm like, mm, uh, I don't it took you a long time to comment though. I'm like, why is she commenting? I'm like, usually you comment pretty, you I have commented in the past. I was like, didn't even see it for four days. I figured something was up and I'm like, so I kept yeah. checking. I'm like, where did I post it? I couldn't find it. I'm like, I know she must've commented and then something popped up and I'm like, and you made a very, a very nice comment. You did. It was very sweet. I had to bite my tongue. I struggled. Why? You could have been honest. <laughs> because it was well, so- now you know you could because because I just finished learning my awakening and I was struggling really, With? really hard. Because the when you feel that tightening in your chest and mm-hmm. you you feel tightening in your shoulders when you struggle. What were you struggling with? I was struggling going from the the not being present and becoming awaked. So, or like showing empathy, you mean like struggling with well, that? Well, Jamie, how do I tell her? Uh, so Karina is very much, um, well, she's air. So I call her flighty. She's very flighty. She is is all over the place, always has something to go, like, da 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 you know, like mm. she's the life of the party, like, always you know she's just flighty like what a bird always always flighty which is not a bad thing but her family her husband's a virgo i don't know her, so he's so 
he's earth sign more present like you yeah and and naturally kind of more like aware of like what's going on and her oldest son is also very similar but very emotional so she spends a lot of time with the younger one who is her twin exactly her twin and so she, her she is realizing that she can still be flighty but in order for the relationships with the other two to be more solid and not have like the bickering she has to be more you know you have to find that compromise so learning how to be uncomfortable while <laughs> still being authentic <laughs> <laughs> yeah like she was in that transition when your clients come in do you ever feel like they are not listening um not typically cool. or what? it's cool or when oh, you're yeah oh cool. yeah 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 and you feel like people aren't listening yes that was me I was not hearing things so if my husband would say hey we need to be somewhere at eight o'clock, let's go get ready. Instead of me having, because I don't even know what empathy means, I would just be like, because I like to do makeup and it's like 7.59 and he's like, let's go. And now we're late because of me. And now he has anxiety. It's because I didn't have empathy because I was just like, not being present <clears throat> of what I'm supposed to be doing. And same so thing. Like, are you dating? Uh, a little bit. So you might find this with dating too. You meet someone and they're like, oh, ni Erica, nice to meet you. So what do you do? And they grab the phone. Oh, fuck that. I'd be fucking pissed off. So, I'm saying, so I would do that. Um, my husband- so you're saying, so you were struggling with the post because you felt like you wanted to you like wait at your answer, think about how you were going to respond- carefully so i so two weeks ago i was i was struggling going from the non-present to the present and okay. then my cousin my cousin loses his wife so i call my older cousin to figure out i'm coming to new york and he is very he's a capricorn <laughs> he's fucking capricorn and he's always like i'm better than you type of personality okay okay <laughs> I finally feel like because my entire family made me feel like a loser, including him, he grew up controlled mm -hmm. with my sister and I grew up abandoned. Make sense? Mm, yeah, of course. I'm on the phone with him and I'm like, I finally have arrived. Wow. I'm on your level. And he goes, you need to learn how you, you need to learn empathy and you have seven days to do it. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like I, I, so I, when I got on the phone with him, I'm like, <gasps> and he goes, fuck you. Ugh. And it, it goes back to, I'm not enough. I'm stupid. Right. I don't even know what the words mean. Right. I go to my husband, I'm crying. I'm like, I don't know why he's talking to me like this. What does this mean? My husband says, you need to have empathy. And I'm like, English is my second language. I don't understand. And finally, my husband's like, shut the fuck up when you go to New York. Oh, I get that. Okay. That's clear. <laughs> so when you left me a comment, I was practicing <laughs> okay. how to have empathy. <laughs> it was very beautifully written. It was very empathetic. So... So I started using yourself. Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Because I never learned this. So yeah, no, I that's you're right. You never learned it. That's it. Yes. How are you supposed to you know, like none of us have learned zero to seven? Right. If you don't learn everything zero to seven, you don't have it in your library. Trust me, I know. Yes. Right. So it's a skill you have to be taught. Yes, exactly. And the same thing with like getting up and discipline. Um, 
it's yeah, no, it's no, I don't believe in discipline anymore. What I believe, believe in? in having a positive mindset of oh, what you want. That's different. Because eventually, like you said, if you if you go, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, you're gonna believe I'm happy. I just told the client that today, my, my client at five o'clock. Negative, 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 negative. I'm like, I, it, it, if the negative works, why shouldn't the positive work? The negative makes you feel like shit. Why wouldn't the positive make you feel good? But exactly. it, takes, it takes four positives to wipe away one negative. As for parents, I tell that all the time. You tell your yeah. kid one negative thing, you better come up with four to wipe that shit clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really what a person needs. Four to yeah. one. It's pretty, it's a lot. It's a lot. It makes you, makes you be a little bit more cognizant of what you're, how you're talking to people and to children, especially. Yeah. So when I was in New York, I, so uh, when I said um, a fresh perspective, because <laughs> Jamie and I started laughing, she and I, I found while I was going through this um, journey of, of realizing who I am, I found a tarot card reader who reads for each sign. So I listened to the Gemini cards she listens to the virgo and it's a husband and wife oh. and, we've, and we've been con con consistently listening for solid almost 30 days oh wow yeah almost a month yeah and and then we you know we get on the phone and we're like what did she say for you what did she you know and we just that's she, great yeah um so what what i love about my relationship with jamie is she's the first true friend i can say I can count on where we're both growing together. Beautiful. So I have some friends in New York who yelled at me. <laughs> um, my friend Daniela yelled at me for having sugar-free uh, equal or sugar-free packet. I was putting in my tea. So she, as I'm putting the sugar-free thing into my tea, she's like, you're going to drink that shit as she is drinking a 16 ounce orange juice from, from, a, from a bottle at the restaurant with her pancakes or whatever the fuck she was eating. And I'm eating egg whites. Wait, you're going to, you're going to talk shit about my sugar-free itty bitty tiny packet, but you're going to drink this much <laughs> orange juice. And that's your question. <laughs> I have a question. Um, what are your thoughts on the impact of menopause on this on a woman's energy level um motivation and any of that like, how, how much do you think menopause plays in, in however much you want it to play yeah so you don't I, believe like in like the chemical imbalance or the homework i mean I, I personally don't but i was just curious what your thoughts were I, I'm I'm older. I don't know how old you are, but um, I'll be 46 in June. Yeah, yeah. So the answer, bottom line, is you don't believe menopause really has an impact on a woman's challenges or presents challenges to women mentally only. Okay, I was just curious what your thoughts were on. So if you if you say that due to menopause, I'm this. I I don't I don't say that, but I was just okay. curious. Like that, many people do. Yeah. <laughs> So I mean, that's like saying uh, having five children, um, you know, is what caused me to get fat. <laughs> right. Uh, wait, she's always on. Even me, Kelly. Kelly's uh, messaging us. I'm always on no matter what is happening in my life. Is that what you're saying? I'm always on. And Kelly, yeah, you're, you are. Glad that you made it. Oh. Okay. Um, so the tarot card thing, the guy says about his wife, if you want a fresh perspective, go listen to my wife. Oh. <laughs> so you see, That's because I listen to him and he uses the word perspective. Now I'm saying the word perspective. It was never, I've never used that word perspective in my life. Oh, it's interesting. I used that word so Before much. Too. For the first time as I heard it, as Understood. Jamie heard it. That's not my language. Wow. <laughs> so if you keep hearing it, hearing it, hearing it, hearing it. Because you, like you said, 
if you think positive, eventually you It'll do work, work. just yeah. like the negative works. <laughs> right. So everything works, I believe. And there's a doctor I, I shared on online. No one, no one even wanted to hear that. Everything works. Work. So what that means is everything you do works. Everything you don't do works too. Works. Understood. Make sense? Hundred percent. So if you if you you're on your bike every weekend, in order to lose belly fat requires nutrition, no yogurt, no cheese, right. no almond milk. Okay. No bacon. No mayo. No mayo. No no chips. No. So you saw the picture, right? You saw the belly fat. You saw. You like that's that's what I feel like. Your donut. It's annoying. It's fucking annoying. It's I can't yeah. fucking close my pants. It's just annoying. It's ugly. I don't like it. It's my body's like I'm good here. I'm good on the bottom, and then this middle piece is like what the fuck. So, so your bike. Your bike burns calories, right? Not fat. fat, right? So anytime you're doing cardio, you're burning calories. So in order to have less belly fat, you have to work out with weights, right? Yes, I that yes, I I know that conceptually, and I ride I ride for fun and to keep me feeling like I'm 25. Like I don't ride to lose weight. Like I'm riding really. That's my, that's my therapy, right? That's my joy. That's my energy. That's what serves me, right? I am not doing it to be skinny, right? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. This might work for you. Since you ride your bike every weekend, that's something you do for fun. What if you started putting ankle weights and wrist weights on while you ride your bike? Like so, one pound, like one pound only. I can try, but the riding that I do is very technical riding. Like it's mountain biking. So it's very like, it's a little bit dangerous. So I'm afraid to like, if I have if I'm unbalanced in any way, I could really get hurt. So I don't know if I can do that, but it, it's the kind of riding that I do. Wouldn't really be conducive to that kind of um, unbalanced. I, I don't even know. I've never seen anybody do that before in mountain biking. What about a vest? What about no, like a like a, a vest? Like a, a vest two would make pound sense. vest? That would make sense. The, the, if she's just sitting there, the vest is not really giving her extra. Well, if she's climbing up the mountain, she's having to not That's sit true. on the seat. Right, right. She's having to use. So she's lifting, which means if you have even two pounds, you're lifting. It is possible. Extra weight. There, are, there are some road road riders that do that. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some road riders do that. Not I mean, mountain. Like, but I mean, it's a, it's a start. Like if you want to weight lift, but you're having to go through the struggle of fitting it in, why don't you start fitting it in, in tiny places of something you're already doing? It's possible again, but the, it, it like the writing that I do, Maybe it, it would shift my body weight and it might, it might kill me. <laughs> so I, I, but I hear what you're saying. It's not, it's, but it's, it's just the kind of writing that I do. Yes. Sorry. Where's Jack? No, I was gonna show her. She's not looking this way. Oh, Jacqueline, what if you bling like these type of bottles? Oh, that's my other. <laughs> that's that's my other challenge. I'm having business ideas. Water? You're not drinking water. This is my third one today. Oh look, I got. Oh, we're the same color. <laughs> I ended up getting. I can make that happen. Glass one. I got glass yeah. because I'm struggling cleaning the damn stuff. All right, here's my well, here's my next question. Can you give us a rundown of what you're eating? Yeah. Um yeah. I'm just responding. Um, I'm just responding to Kelly. Um Erica, are you biking on the weekends? She can hear you. You don't have to type. Oh, I that's so why I already typed. Um camera. So like my daily food plan. Yeah. Kind of. Okay, so the okay. morning I'll have um two eggs, mushroom, spinach, omelet. With what, what is it? Two eggs, 
mushrooms, a few mushrooms, like a chopped up mushrooms and spinach omelet. Okay. And coffee. You made yourself? coffee. Sorry? You made it yourself? Yes. Okay. Lunch? Wait, sorry. No, I'm not there yet. Okay. I'm eating before, right before lunch. Then I'm eating like uh, cottage cheese with blueberries. Okay, that has to go. The right, that's at like, that's like, I'm, I'm hungry all the time. So it's like maybe like two hours later. Okay. And then I'll have, um, then lunch would be uh, some rice with ground turkey that's mixed with a any vegetable. Could be broccoli, could be peppers, could be mushrooms, whatever I had in the house to just mix it up with. With like some spice, onion powder, whatever I made, whatever I mixed in to make it taste edible. Um, and then now it depends, right? So like for dinner, I'll usually like after, have no snack after lunch. So it depends on how busy my afternoon is at work. If I do, it's going to be yogurt and granola. Okay. Which also has to go. That's fine. I'm telling you what I'm eating. Yogurt and granola. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing math. So yep. 200 and, um. The eggs I'm is about 1300, 1400 a day. About. I, I was weighing for a little bit. So it's about 1500 maybe a day, um, which I don't think is enough. Or I, I'm always hungry either because I'm not eating enough. That's where the cottage cheese came in because I was hearing eat protein, more protein, more protein. Cottage cheese has so much protein. So I started making cottage cheese with eggs, cottage cheese with blueberries, constantly cottage cheese to just up my protein intake. And then uh, again, yogurt and granola. And then dinner is usually the same as my lunch. Some kind of, or not usually like a grilled chicken with a rice and a veggie. So it's very plain, very, very plain. Snacks, maybe like a mand mandarin orange here and there, um, maybe one to two a day. Um, and then at night, if I'm hungry again, uh, some like skinny popcorn. Okay. That's it. Well, that's not bad. I'm wondering because you're not lifting Monday through Friday, you're not very active. I'm wondering if the yogurt and the cottage cheese is what's causing your belly fat because you're not lifting. And after 40, we do not digest as well as we you. The hell is she doing back? You miss me? You missed me, didn't you? <laughs> um, we don't. I will tell you. Wait, hold on. The yeah. belly's been there my whole life. When I was working out like five, six years ago, very consistently, it went down significantly. It did. When you but I, was, I was lifting three days a week. I was playing tennis. I was riding my bike. I was eating the same. I've always eaten the same. Right. And so my belly did go down. But what's changed is like life changes, right? So I'm divorced now. I'm working two jobs now. So like my life was not what it was back then where I was able to lift three days a week, go to the gym. I had a gym in the house. So life circumstances are not the same. So I don't have access to that same freedom of working out at five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not doing that anymore. So again, my stomach's always been there, but it did go down a little bit when I was lifting. But yeah. again, now I know you said not to say it, but I am exhausted, yeah. mentally and physically exhausted. Yeah, I think you're 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 mentally exhausted more than you're physically exhausted. Hundred percent, yes. So oh, let, I, I would say probably only mentally exhausted. So let's come up with a plan. Like when we when I said earlier that you are willing to commit to, and okay. you have to write it down. Okay. You know, it could be stress too. Like oh, it's hundred percent stress. Hundred like because stress will go like. I've even noticed that if I'm stressed and I think Karina's learned that that's about me too. If I'm, if I'm high strung all week, I'm way bigger, like way bigger, like six, six to eight pounds bigger. Now, granted it's completely fake. It all drops. It all goes away, but stress will definitely tackle. My stress level is, is through the fucking roof. So well, you've got to find a way you, you have to, and only you can figure out what is it going to take for you to come down on stress? Is that an extra supplement that like we take? Somebody, I just started taking magnesium, uh, two different kinds of magnesium just started like three days ago. 
So I don't know anything if it's going to work. I'm not a big supplement person, but after doing some research with a nurse friend of mine. And how old are you? 52. 52. So then the other one is Harmony with in first form. So I am like all first form. I've never you do look fantastic for being 52, by the Thank way. You. So, you. I mean, I hear all the negativity about how you don't like your donut self, but you look fucking fantastic for 52. You. Thank you. First, we have to start with gratitude because I am fucking fabulous, okay? Meaning you. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I believe that I look younger than I am. <laughs> so Yes, I'm very happy about that. Number one is wake up in the morning and start being grateful. Wait, go back to the harmony thing. What were you, what were you saying? Okay, and also at night, um, harmony um, is a hormones supplement that first form has that mm -hmm. helps with mood, energy, and focus. 